we're gonna just jump right into it. We're gonna do art journals. That's right, we're gonna make a journal so that we can put things in it that relates to art. That's very important, things that we want to remember, okay? Lots of times we'll do projects and then you'll love the art project and then I'll say, hey, so what were we talking about when we did that project? And you'll say, uh, I don't know, but it was fun. <laughs> well, I kind of want to get away from that. I want you to be able to have something to say, oh yeah, I remember when we did that. Be able to open this up, flip it to the right page and say, that's when we were talking about this particular artist or that particular technique. So that's what an art journal is and that's what we're gonna make here, okay? You can see I got the front and back all colored in nice and pretty, you open it up, and I got a color on the inside. And what we would do is get little paper, sheets of paper. We would write things on it, draw things on it. You would fold it in half. This is called folding it like a hamburger. And then you would store it inside of your art journal. At the end of the year, I'm going to staple it in so that you'll have pages that you can flip through, okay? Now, how do we make this? Very simple. We're going to get a poster board, a small size poster board. First thing we're going to do is make a pattern on it, okay? Now, I like using our important basic lines. I have them right here, the basic lines and basic shapes. We have a straight line. We have a wavy line. We have a zigzag. have a couple of basic shapes too, but today we're only talking about these lines, okay? Let's put that off to the side. I want you to choose one of those lines, one of those four lines, and you're gonna make a pattern on your poster board. I like the wavy, I used the wavy lines the last time. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and make maybe about three or four wavy lines. You don't wanna make them too close together. That'll make it hard to color and take too long to color. So I'm gonna space my lines out so that it gives me room to color in between those spaces that I'm making. You see that? Now I made a pattern on my paper and I have large, large spaces to color in with my markers. So I think I'm done with the black. Put that away. Pick out a couple of more colors. It's up to you what colors you wanna use and it's up to you how you color your um, poster board, a little mini poster board here. Now, only thing I'm going to say is um, you have to watch out for this. This, 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 this is important. Notice how I did not touch the black lines for a little bit. I waited for them to dry. Now that they're dry, they don't smear. If you don't let it dry, watch this. I'm coloring, coloring, coloring. Watch this. Ah! It smeared! Awful, we do not want that happening. In fact, let me show you how to use these. I'm not gonna color all of these in. I'm only gonna color this one spacing in. Notice, I trace the box that I wanna color in. I trace it all the way around the edges, excuse me, all the way around the edges here. Try to trace it in. Try not to rub your hand across the square as you color in, because you'll make a mistake and smear the marker on your hand. We're gonna try not to do that, okay? Now, when you're coloring with marker, don't color with the tip like you're coloring with the crayon. No, 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 no. You wanna tilt the marker on its side. You see that, see that flat side right there? The point, the flat side? You wanna put that on the paper. And I call it the lawnmower technique because you're gonna go all the way up turn around and come all the way back down. And then turn around and come all the way back up. Kind of like you're mowing the grass. That's why I call it the lawnmower technique. So you're gonna keep on doing this all the way through this particular square, okay? Now, I'm not gonna do, like I said, I'm not gonna color all the squares, but I do wanna color one for you so you can see exactly how much better your drawing can look or your coloring can look with markers if you use the lawnmower technique. This is what I'm talking about. See that? Doesn't that look nice and neat? That's exactly how I did with this. If you can look, you can see the lines going across like a lawnmower technique. I did that with every single uh, space that I colored in. Now, I did leave some white because I want you to write the words art journal somewhere I want you to put your name, I told you my name was Mr. P, and I want you to put the year, 
it is 2012-13. That's our school year. That's going to be very important to you later on, okay? Now, once you color everything, once you write the words art journal, your name, and the year, we're going to um, glue a sheet of construction paper on the inside of it. You know, we're going to fold it over, fold it over like this. Okay, fold that over and then decide what color construction paper you want to use. I have a red piece here. Fold that in half. Okay, and then we're going to stick that on the inside like that and then when you, you open it, you're good to go. It's a great way to make your drawing more sturdy and also if you happen to mess up on one side, it's okay because I kind of messed up. I didn't like that one. So I can put that over top of it and nobody can even tell that I messed up. You see that? You can't even tell that you messed up. So that's what we're going to do today and I want you guys to go and have fun.